Hi, we are Sengin and Yichen, and we are presenting Matrix Completion. Have you ever got a recommendation from Spotify or Netflix? And surprisingly enough, you ended up liking their recommendations and suggestions very much. How did this happen? Today, we are going to talk about the magic of Matrix Completion. You will find out that this magic is nothing more than exciting linear algebra problem. So we will introduce to you the concept of matrix completion in the context of Netflix problem, which is one of the very popular application of matrix completion. Let me give you a brief picture of how all this works. So we have a matrix with a question mark because there are unknown entries. And then by performing matrix completion, we recover the unknown entries from the known entries of the original matrix. In order to recover a matrix that actually represents the trends and features implicitly present in the original matrix, it is crucial that we set some conditions and assumptions on the original matrix. Some of the assumptions include that the matrix has to be low rank and at least one entry from each column and row should be observed and the matrix should be incoherent. If you are really excited about this and want to know more about the details, please refer to our paper. Now, let's get into the real mathematics. Assume we have a matrix M with missing entries, and we want to recover it to the full matrix X. We define omega as the set of entries in the given matrix omega, and P omega X as the matrix that takes all the observed entries and set all the missing entries to be zero. When filling the missing entries in M, we want to match the entries of X with the given matrix as closely as possible. More formally speaking, we want to minimize the difference between our prediction and the data we are given. Ideally, we want the difference to be zero, but since real data is always noisy, and perfect fit of data will very likely lead to overfitting, so in reality, we choose to minimize the Frobenius norm instead. And here, the Frobenius norm is usually referred to as the Euclidean distance between two matrices. In the context of movie review, it's natural to assume that many reviewers and movies are similar. This means we want our matrix to be as low rank as possible. So we can restate our problem as the minimization of the trade-off between the Frobenius norm of a matrix difference and the rank of the matrix X. Since the minimization of, rank a of ma matrix rank is a provable np hard problem, we will not be able to solve that. But we found the singular values of a matrix can be a very good representation of the rank of a matrix, so we replace the rank of a matrix with its nuclear norm. And here, we have our final equation for optimizing the matrix completion problem. And because the norm of the matrices are convex functions, so our problem can be treated as a convex optimization problem. By convex function, it means there is only one global minimum in the function. And if you want to know more about that, please again refer to our paper for a more detailed explanation. And now we are actually going to demonstrate a simple example of matrix completion. So it is actually really difficult to solve this by our hand. So we use a Python library called CVXPy, which basically solved any optimization problem. And we need it we need another library called fancy impute which does the matrix norm minimization problem and here is our matrix the movie rating matrix in python numpy format and we run the script that we wrote for this particular matrix and if you wait a while then the matrix will be completed as a result and that's how we came up with our matrix in the appendix of our paper. That was our basic introduction to matrix completion and thanks for watching our video.